what's going on YouTube it's your boy George Simon I'm back at it again with another video today we pick gold I know it's not a hype sticker but the silhouette is but this particular model is not I was able to copy it in a size 9 which is very rare considering the fact that they've already sold out sizes 10 and under have all completely sold out so if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button a thousand times I am going to do a giveaway if I can get to a thousand subscribers. Guys, the video that I did on the Yeezy Vantos, thank you so much. It's literally almost at 1,400. Can we get to 2,000 views and 50 likes? If we do, maybe we'll even do the giveaway sooner. Comment down below if you think that's fair. Without further ado, let's get into this. Bam! So, we got our Jordan box right over here. This is actually one of my first pair of vids that I've actually had in a very long time. Um, these ones are the black metallic gold and white so if you guys are not familiar with those ones they are like a patent metallic type obviously it's not like the black patent those are going for a ton of money but bam we have them right here honestly even though it's a mid it's not really that different than a high to be honest like the higher G's are probably like an inch a little bit taller maybe this shoe was retailing for 165 Canadian you can only imagine in the states it's probably like 130 120 I wish these are pretty fire it's the first metallic colorway I've ever had but they are super clean like you can't go wrong with black and white and with a little bit of gold it is a little bit flashy but you know it's a Jordan 1 so let's get to the materials right now so surrounding the upper we've got the patent leather very nice quality material it's very firm it's nice and glossy feels very smooth very very nice quality shoe you've got really stiff leather it's not like one of those leathers like you see on the defiance or any other ones it's very smooth it almost feels like it's suede but it's not the side panels it feels a little bit more smooth and a little bit more firm next the laces are completely white they do come with a spare black pair of laces which is pretty nice i don't know which one would look better black or white comment down below what you guys think really cool sneaker in my opinion now the best part that actually stands out on the shoe is the nike gold swish Nice patent material, just like the ones surrounding the upper. Man, that is a really nice gold. It's kind of like, um, it's more of like a darker gold than a lighter gold, which is really nice. I'm glad that they didn't make this shoe too, too dark. Same goes with the Air Jordan on the side, where it's also the same color gold as Nike Swoosh. Of course, you got the Nike Jumpman Air branding on the tongue, right on the top. Kind of like that fabric material. Of course, the outsole is a cross between black and white. I'm actually really surprised I was able to find a size 9 of these, considering that they're already sold out. The guy at the store, shout out to him, thank you Matthew, he literally was like, dude, there's a size 9, I'm like, what do you mean? I've been coming here for a month trying to figure out when these shoes are going to come back. I'm beginning to learn, once the Jordan 1 is stocked, and if it restocks once or twice, it's never going to restock again, and we're going to have to face the fact that you're going to have to pay resale. Lucky enough though, these are actually going for about retail on StockX, Canadian as well, probably make like, maybe like $10 over, but other than that, for shipping as well, but I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not, I just wanted to show you guys, because I did have the opportunity to get them in the store. Surprisingly enough, I got these in Champs, which I never ever get a Jordan 1, every time I go to Champs. A shout out to you guys for having this pair. Now, moving on to the Supreme. I'm not gonna lie, week six is a dud. It's nice because you finally get a couple, couple nice t-shirts, but other than that, that's really what it's for. Of course, you have that picture case, which is pretty fire, and I'm, I'm not even joking. These literally look like ugly, if not advanced, Christmas sweaters. No. These are not if cheap, these are not it at all. We've got the Cupid Tee, and of course, it's probably gonna be iconic because of that $3,000 Maison, Maison, whatever it's called, statue, and that's exactly what's on there. There you go, see? Why do the statue when you can get the statue on the t-shirt, right? Next, you have the Persistence of Memory, which is also a very famous painting as well. This is really cool. This is actually the piece that I want to go for, for the personal, just because it's very wearable. I like how the graphic it looks like it's ongoing on the side. So I really hope that turns out to look better in person. Stay tuned for the Supreme Week 6 Live Cop for tomorrow. Those are my thoughts. Those picks were my thoughts of what I want to cop tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have the same. If not, let me know what you guys want to go for tomorrow. I know there's a lot of other fire pieces. In my personal opinion, I think those are the best ones. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jordan Stamina. This is Life of Stamina. Peace.